Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of our Royal Sport Recap featuring Brantford's BCI Lady Mustangs in Game 2 of their Kawasa Preliminaries versus the Guelph Gales. After dethroning the St. John's Eagles and shattering the remarkable 12-year city championship streak to capture BCI's first-ever senior girls championship last week, the Mustangs now make a push for a regional championship along with the Junior Eagles to round out our Brantford representatives. The Mustangs came from a Game 1 win before entering this game and came out with poise and control to start their game versus the Guelph Gales. Special mentions to junior standouts Megan Doris and Kaya Grant on being called up to play with the seniors this weekend. But through the player of the game, Kennedy Chisholm and her 18 points, 6 rebounds and 8 steals, paired with Taylor Hill's 10 points and 11 steals, this dynamic duo almost outscored and outproduced the entire Gales lineup by themselves. Although Chisholm and Hill were the key standouts of the game, the Lady Mustangs' overall team effort was what really got the job done. From an offense that had the ball swinging quickly left to right and a defense that gave the Gales a hard time getting their offense set up, Brantford's Mustangs did a tremendous job sealing their win. With the Gales not knowing how to handle Chisholm's offensive arsenal, this young lady was a nightmare for Guelph as she had her way all game. By either directing the offense or taking it upon herself to lead her team, the Gales just could not adjust to what Kennedy Chisholm was throwing at them. Nice job, before the break and coming out of it, the Mustangs went on an and one spree, having three girls almost back to back to back, finishing with the harm and flexing that Brantford strength. These all started with Megan Doris closing out BCI's first half with one of her own and ones, then Taylor Hill finishing one from one of her 11 steals to start the third. And capping off the trio of and ones and also taking some ankles was none other than Chisholm. After a score of 20 to 14 at half, the third quarter is where the blue and gold poured it on. The Mustangs scored 23 points and held the Gales to just one in the third quarter, which became the deciding factor for the game. Heading into the fourth quarter with a score of 43 to 15 in favor of the Mustangs, the Gales' regional hopes quickly dwindled as BCI's bench mob finished the job. We were able to catch a few of the Lady Mustangs after the game to hear their thoughts and pick their mindsets for Kawasa 2017. Player of the game, Kennedy Chisholm. Congratulations on the win and the win earlier today. So what do you feel like your role is with this Kwasa tournament? Uh, just to be a strong point guard and leader for the team and help contribute by scoring. So there are graduating seniors here, Taylor Hill, we just found out that she's coming back for grade 13. Woo! Woo! Awesome, awesome. Um, heading into this tournament with it being your last one, Nayla, how does it feel? Um, no, I'm kind of actually sad. Now, I haven't really put much thought into it because I'm like, okay, I still hope we're gonna go to Offsa, but like, I don't know, I'm sad, especially because like I missed the last two seasons, so like I just want to make this one a really good one. Definitely. And Taylor, what was it, what made you want to come back for your grade 13 and, and play it out? Yeah, the amazing people. I mean, look, I get to play with these guys. Aww. Megan Doris and Kaya Grant. What do you think you guys are learning the most out of this heading into your season next year? I know Kaya, you're still going to be playing for the junior team next year and, and Megan moving up to the to the senior division next year. What do you think you're taking the most out of this tournament? Being less nervous and learning how to play better on the court. Congratulations on being the two juniors being brought up to play with the seniors in the Kawasa tournament here this year. Uh, how does it feel being the two youngest on the team? It's very special. It's exciting to play at Kawasa with them and get the experience that they have. Playing with such a great group of girls. You can catch these Brantford girls play later today at 1.30 p.m. and after hopefully winning, catch their finals at 7 p.m. Both played at St. Mary's in Kitchener, Waterloo.